Hey Flower Tribe, so today I'm going to show you guys how to harvest your celosia seeds from your flowers to plant in your garden for next year. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey. And I love giving you guys fun free flower tips. So please feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post a brand new fun free flower tip. So check it out guys. Celosia is one of my absolute favorite annual flowers. So these guys, they don't come back every year like perennials, but sometimes they do because celosia has a habit of self seeding itself. So it's a super easy plant to grow. Uh, once these seeds hit the ground and they're kind of left alone, chances are they're gonna come back the following year. But the problem is a lot of times we'll go out to our gardens in springtime and we'll kind of churn up the soil or we'll do some planting. And then sometimes the seeds that were dropped from your celosia flowers are kind of now buried too deep. And celosia seeds like to be buried not too deep. They like to kind of be on the surface with just a little light sprinkling of uh, soil on top of them. So if they're planted too deep from some of the churning, you're not gonna get your celosia flowers to come back. So here's how you're gonna fix that. You're gonna have your own stash of free celosia seeds because I'm going to show you how to harvest them right off your flowers in fall. So right now it's September here in New Jersey and it's a terrific time to do a lot of your seed uh, harvesting. So we're harvesting our sunflower seeds, we're harvesting our echinacea seeds, we're doing tons of seed harvest and we have lots of videos on those also that we're going to make a playlist for and we'll kind of link them all over the place in descriptions and like I said you can follow our seed harvest playlist for more flowers that we're going to show you how to do. So let's dive right in. Let's take a walk out to where my celosia plants are now and I'm going to show you how to turn those flowers into thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds that look something like this. Each of these little black seeds is a celosia flower. So we're gonna take a walk out to the garden right now and I'm gonna show you how I got all these babies to look like that. Okay guys, so there's a couple different ways that you can harvest your celosia seeds and I'm gonna show you them right now. So one of the easiest things to do is just to get a cardboard box and hold it next to your celosia plant that's kind of drying out. Now, if you take a look at these guys, you can tell it's got a lot of browning going on. But what I'm really looking for are these little tiny black seeds that are in here. Because each of these little uh, black pepper flakes is actually going to be a celosia flower for next year, a celosia plant. So the easiest thing to do is to come into your gardens and kind of just bend them down and you can give them a shake. And you could even hear them popping off the plant. Sounds like, uh, sounds like you're shaking out pepper. So it's amazing to think though that each of these little tiny black flecks is going to be a celosia plant for next year. So that's one method of doing it. That's super easy. Now if you want loads and loads of celosia seeds like I do, because like I said, I love to gift them. Um, here's another method that you can do. You can clip the celosia And celosia is also great for drying out. They make a great dry cut flower. So what you can do is take a whole bunch of these stalks and I try to strip them of a lot of the leaves because sometimes the leaves have moisture in them. And what you can do is you can hang these guys upside down. You can find a nice, once again, a cool dry place. You can put a little bit of twine around them and you could hang them to dry and you can use them in dried flower arrangements. Now here's the thing. So you can either hang it upside down and put a box underneath it. So as the dried seeds start falling off, they're gonna fall into this box or I'm gonna put them right into this paper bag and I have it labeled with the year. And you can just once again, leave these in a cool dry place. Leave them in your garage or your barn. Don't bring them in the house just yet. And after about two weeks, they're gonna be super dried out and I'm gonna show you what they look like as we head on back over to the barn. I'm gonna take a look at how to get these seeds in jars and little containers so that you can store them over the winter and use them as gifts, which is so cool. And you can replant them in your garden or your loved ones can plant them in their gardens next summer. Like just for me walking from the field into here. Just from that, you can tell I probably have about, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 new flowers in there, just from walking. But they're gonna dry out. What's gonna happen is they're gonna wind up looking like this after a few weeks. 
And then when you have them in this stage, then you can really do some damage. I mean, you could really start doing this whole shake out, shuffle, and they're just gonna come flying out of it. And I'm gonna show you what we do to kind of get rid of this, kind of like the riffraff, I call it. So there's a lot of this like chafing in here. There's a lot, I don't know what it's called, the chaff. Chafing is what you have when you go to the beach, right? <laughs> You're gonna take these seeds, and I put them in a sieve and you're gonna just start sprinkling them through. And what's happening is it's gonna leave the leaves and the bigger chunks behind, and it's gonna you know, leave you with mostly just the seeds. And you can kind of just kind of do this a few times, because then sometimes you have just some of the smaller stuff that got through. But I'll do this a few times. Kind of shake this out. And then what I'll do is I'll get like an even finer one. And I'll kind of gather that up. I'll put them in here, and you're gonna sift out even some of the smaller guys that kind of got through the cracks. And when you do this, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you don't have to get all this stuff out of there. Like this, some of these things can be planted along with the seeds. So I'm gonna show you guys this product that I like. Got it from Amazon, and I'll put a, an Amazon link below in case you wanna order it. And it's basically just like a, a gardener's sieve that comes with four different uh, attachments. And it depends on which size seed that you're working with. You know, the sunflowers are larger than the celosia. And this guy happens to be called a practical stainless steel garden sieve. But there's other ones that are on Amazon that you might want to get. Uh, some of them look like this. This works nicely too. And to be honest with you, you can even use a screen from your house if you don't want to buy anything. So, but this is kind of a pain because I was using this like for the last two years and then Sheldon walks in, he's like, where's the screen? Why is, this, why is the window missing the screen yet? And I'm like, oh, I was collecting seeds. So for me, just, it made sense after like two years to buy like a garden of sieve. So anyway, I'll put like a link for that below in case you're interested. So at the end of the day, when we're done kind of separating as much as we can, your seeds might look like this when you're storing them. And as you can tell, I've got like a little bit of that plant matter in there. It's not a big deal. You just want to make sure the bugs aren't in there. Well, first of all, because you want to, you don't want to kill the bugs. <laughs> I mean, let's be kind. But you also don't want the moisture from any kind of insects in there. And then what's really cool is you can either store them, uh, like, you know, in these little, you know, Tupperware containers. You don't want to put them in a place that has a lot of sunlight. You want them to be dark. So make sure that if you do, especially these see-through type things, make sure that it's in like a dark place. A lot of people just like storing their seeds in paper bags. So I, I'll do this often. Uh, but what I do love to do is, is to put seeds in these little mason jars. And I just found this like set on Amazon. I'll put a link to it uh, in descriptions below. And I'm gonna use it for Christmas. They're like mini jars and they're so cute and they have like these really cute, you know, you can like label the top of them. But I'll put a link for that. And what I'm gonna do this Christmas is I'm gonna fill up those little mini jars with my seeds and I'm gonna label them. And I'm gonna give them as part of like, like a Christmas gift. So I'll have like celosia seeds, I'll have one for sunflower seeds, I might throw in like a jar of honey. And I thought that was kind of a cool like little side gift for like my loved ones. So that's kind of a neat thing to do with your seeds. So just, you're gonna make sure that you, you store these seeds in a cool dark place, either in a paper bag, in a mason jar, uh, in a box. I have to say for the last like two years, we've been storing our seeds in boxes. What we normally do is we put the date on, we put the seed type, and then we just, we, we leave them alone and then we come back and we play with them in spring when there's no threat of frost and the ground is kind of warmed up again. So. Always, you know, always wait like a, a, a couple extra days or a week or two after Mother's Day or after, you know, it's like super cold. And then you can start putting them in the ground and we'll make you guys a video on how to plant these guys. So check that out. So thanks for joining us today. And please feel free to subscribe to our channel and let us know where you are in this big, beautiful world. I love to know where our flower tribe is from and we keep expanding every week. So it's so fun to see where everybody's popping up all over the world. And I will see you guys in the next video. So these seeds, wait, <laughs> I know, I see you. This is the worst way to collect seeds ever, okay? So, <laughs> back to this. <laughs>